Hey, y'all. Hey, let's get into this intuitive message, this intuitive reading, this divinely led message, guided message for Sweetie. Okay. Somebody has been, and look, say your name and boom. All right. So someone has been asking and I am just getting around to it. So please forgive me. My apologies. I'm also trying to get to the other readings that you guys requested. This is just my process. Like I'll feel it and I'll be like, okay, so today's the day. So today is the day. Okay. So spirit is acknowledging that things are getting ready to happen for the collective and warp speed, meaning that things are getting ready to happen very, very fast. So pay attention. Um, and this is not in regards to her or it could be, but it's just like the collective, a community message that we are about to see with our eyes, things happening in warp speed to get things back into alignment. So it's going to be a lot of things firing off. It could be a fire here. It could be a, 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 earthquake there. It could be something that's going to shake, rattle, and roll Europe. It's going to be, um, is monumentous a word? Because that's the word that's coming to mind. But it's going to be stupendous. It's going to be something that we are going to remember for the rest of our lives because it's happening in real time. And we are able to see the real effect, the real strength that the universe, a highest vibrating source, uh, possesses, God and goddess energy possesses here in this realm. And it's going to be things that are going to open, again, it's just saying opening someone's eyes to the reality of what it is that we see in this realm, okay? So whether you believe or, or disbelieve, its energy is real. Okay, I'll show you to the ancestors. I'll show you to the universe. All right, so this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. So when it comes to Sweetie, okay, first and foremost, Spirit is acknowledging to go backward a little bit. So there was a situation that she was dealing with and it feels like the focus is no longer on her so that she has more wake or room to do the things that she was trying to do to manifest the things that she was trying to manifest to get things in order because someone had a very strong hold on her energy. She was unable to move left, right, front, back, okay? Um, and so now that this energy has shifted and it has shifted and it has shifted, the energy is now focused somewhere else, okay? And so now she's able to try to get herself in realignment. You might see her appear uh, a lot more than before. And again, this is still a part of the the bullshittery, okay? Lack of better words. The This is still a part of Holly Weird, <clears throat> making feel like someone feel like they have more room to wiggle, but in all actuality, you are still under their spell. Not my business, not my problem. It's just a download. Okay, so Spirit is acknowledging when it comes to Sawiti, and I don't know what her real name is, and I feel like I would have a stronger connection if I did. But I tell you guys this, and I will be honest. I do not look into these people. You know what I'm saying? I just do what y'all ask me to do, and I move on about my business, okay? So I don't know her real name. I don't know her zodiac. I'm just going straight off of what the cards are telling me because this is the download that the ancestors give me. And all I got to tell you, I'm 10 toes down with this. So whether you like it or not, this is what this is. This is how it happens. This is see, this is this is what it does. Okay, so moving forward, she's trying to turn lemons into lemonade, honey. Okay, and like I said, she has a little bit more wiggle room. It's just something that just keeps coming up. So when life gives you lemons, thank you, spirit. Make lemonade, be optimistic, persevere, seek opportunity, creativity, and genius. She's trying to make lemonade out of this chaotic situation, this chaos. It's full of debate, it's full of argument and strife. Um, it's being communicated upon. They are protected, she is protected, but there's hypocrisy, blame, introspection is needed. Hindsight is 2020. Okay, spirit is acknowledging that she could be a water sign. And and, or this could be emotional, but now she's trying to put her boats again into the water to see which one is going to flow. Which direction do I move in? She is seeking fulfillment, enthusiasm, following her bliss and money, um, passion projects, and just doing her. Spirit is also acknowledging that she's been eating grass too long on this side of the road. And this is because she thinks the grass is greener over here, but in all actuality, no, it is not. But that's not my business. That's not my problem. There's an obstacle here that is, um, she could achieve and and, and 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 move forward in life um around this obstacle but she chooses not to you know how sometimes you feel like uh um you see you turn a a, a, a mole like you see a mole hill and you think it's a mountain it ain't that big it ain't that deep okay spirit said the truth shall set you free this obstacle is so it could be so easily maneuvered, but she's just in fear. It feels like she's afraid. Again, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. So it's keeping her away from her her her, her purpose and her strength. And then Spirit said, again, God doesn't like ugly. That all of this entrapment, what feels like entrapment, is happening because of nastiness, class, strife, resentment, argument, spite, grudge, and revenge. Okay? And so Spirit said, you want to know more? You go ahead. Okay, so Spirit said, this is all about choices. Okay? This is all about, look at them. 
bottom of the deck. Be quiet. Don't say nothing. Don't do nothing. Don't move. Don't kind of way. You need to practice privacy, discretion, um, contemplation, and equanimity. Okay, consideration. But anyway, Spirit is acknowledging that, you know, the mountains are there. And there's going to be mountains in your life. So buckle up and get ready. This is the university of the universe. Okay? Hey. Thank you, Spirit. And so there will continue to be ups and downs. But this is all in regards to your choices. Good choices equal good karma. And bad choices equal bad karma. That's just how I see it. But continue to focus forward. Anticipate good things. Keep your eyes on the prize. Your eyes. Now, typically when I say this, I don't feel no kind of way. But this time, Spirit is like your third eye needs to be open. Your chakras need to be in alignment. Because it is what it is. Okay? When you mess and play with the big dogs, you know, shit happens. Shit happens. <laughs> shit happens. Okay? Spirit, stop playing. Spirit said pretty or not. Shit happens. All right. How does she move in love and light? I show you to the ancestors. I show you to the universe. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. All right. Honor your word. Do what you said you're going to do. Stick to it. But you know what I'm saying? Honor your word. Do exactly what you say you're going to do. The more you commit to yourself, the more tenacity you grow. The more you believe in yourself, the more abundance will flow. The powers that be are working behind the scenes in your favor to help you bring all your visions to fruition. Why? Because your promises are significant to the world. The matter, the matters on your heart are imperative. And so I'm trying to pick the card of Mysterious that I want you to look at it. Okay, so there is a battle. I do see swords. This could be a battle with an air sign. I do see yellow about the solar plexus energy. And I also see red about getting grounded. There was a lot of solar plexus energy in this battle, be that you and or theirs. And I'm not going to lie to you. I don't... I can't I, I believe Cardi B is a air sign, but it doesn't mean that that's the only air sign that she is dealing with. Air is really about thoughts and thoughts and thinking and thinking and thinking. And so someone is getting the best of their thoughts. Someone is also having to think to get ahead of this, this situation. I do see blue that this is heavily communicated upon. And Spirit said nobody negated this energy, um, this, this issue. Um, neither of the teams came out to negate that this was an issue. Um, so it is what it is. And I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I mean, I think I do, but... That's just what Spirit wants me to say, okay? All right, so so we tea, current energy. What is the tea? Tell me, please, to tell the people. Okay, so Spirit said it's played out all over TV that somebody is clout hungry, says anything, does anything, makes shit up, and can be dramatic, okay? And Spirit said this is layered. This is her, but this is also another energy. Fake smiling because you want people to believe that everything is okay when in all actuality, it's not. It's not. But that's not my business. That's not my problem, okay? Because some of them can have privacy to how they feel, but then there's like this other energy that you sign this contract and everybody got to be able to be inside your life inside your world hence why they change their name sometimes because they like that's that persona that's not me but guess what you've accepted that persona you've accepted that title you've accepted that name and so it still does attack you because in all actuality i'm calling on sweetie i know that that's not her real name but you see what I'm saying? I'm still able to attach. And so the, the laugh is on you. The trick's on you. The joke. That's what Spirit is trying to say. The joke is on you. All right. And the Spirit said that you were caught into a love triangle. And this is a part of your T. A third party, multiple lovers, and or choices. And I keep telling you, the what is it? They say the price is right. Thank you, Spirit. The choice is right. Okay. So the choices that you make will inevitably align with you to serve its karma. Be that good and or bad. Spirit is also, also acknowledging that she's trying to shine light. You know, you'd be like, nah. I'm good. I'm not doing that shit no more. I'm not down with that shit. Blah, 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 blah. Excuse me for my French or my cursing. But Spirit is just saying like that light is the reason why you also was put in the dark. Like that's the, also the reason why they kicked you to the curb because you wouldn't accept some kind of offer. Not my business, not my problem. Your light irritates their demons. Like she don't want to play. She don't want to do this. Okay, get be, be down with her. Not my business, not my problem. All right, so let's get into it. So we tea. Okay. Bone collector, bones, bones, bones. Spirit said there's something about bones, but there is a collector here, and I do see that the clock is on two, uh, fifty. Hmm, interesting. Why two and ten come out? I don't know, but okay. Spirit said just acknowledge it. Cool. I do see a um 
a bunny rabbit here. Bunnies represent fertility. I do see desert for me makes me feel like um, solitude. Also makes me feel like going through a spiritual enlightenment. The number one is significant for her as well. Circles, 360 degrees. You are whole and you have everything you need within. When the bone collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever we're wounded, especially when we're young, it's as if something essential is stolen from us. We adapt and accept a version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation similar to the original event. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of limitation. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. The bone collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities. I say, I believe we all are. She has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding. She has kept it safe and is here for you as you reclaim it now. And so again, there's this whole kind of feel like um, Phoenix kind of rising kind of energy. Like, like I said at the beginning, you're going to start to see her more and more and more and more. Because whoever had they hold on her, they grasp on her, has now shifted their energy this way. And now this person over here, you, not you, but her, Saweetie, feels like there's a little bit more wiggle room to start to put her manifestations in to, and to move a little differently, if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, you have everything you believe you lack and the bone collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need and you'll find you have it all. Anything is possible with awareness. The wounds of the past need not define you. The wounds of the past need not define you. So it just keeps feeling like too, like your past is trying to catch up with you. Uh, and I've always said the frequency of your actions will catch up with you. They will align with you because they are whose? They are yours. The frequency of your actions don't hit me. Nah, -uh, I don't want that. Not my business, not my problem. <laughs> I didn't do that. Whatever you put in your little red wagon, you got to pull in your little red wagon, baby. Mm -hmm. Not my business. Not my problem. Okay, her ancestral team. What do they want to say to uh, Saweetie? Thank you, spirit. Oh, two things they want to say. I don't know why this looks like a twin. Is there some Indian roots that she has? Um... There's also some Gemini energy coming through too, like an air sign, Gemini, kindred, karmic debt is what Spirit is saying is related to that air sign, but not my business, not my problem. Acts of love, forgiveness and faith, acts of love, acts of love, forgiveness and faith. And it's interesting how they are touching the crown chakra. Um, let's not negate that, that there's a touching of the crown chakra, um, the highest intuitive chakra. I do see wings almost like... Um, there is an ancestor that is coming through trying to offer some sense of forgiveness and a reminder of faith, okay? If you are feeling the injustice of someone's harsh judgment, remember that it is only has power if it's piggying back off pre-existing self-doubt and self-judgment, either conscious or unconscious. We all have a yikes diary and almost filmic chronicle of mistakes and misadventure the act of forgiveness and faith says toss it onto the fire 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 sign energy uh passionate but chaotic okay very driven be thankful for the inherent wisdom of your life's lessons forgive yourself so that you can direct your beautiful energy to where it belongs self-acceptance and new beginnings the act of forgiveness and faith helps you liberate energetically and find peace if you're unable to forgive it's okay in this event turn to an act of faith send prayers or petition the universe for help manifestation i said at the beginning that she was doing so and guidance relinquishing control of a burden by petitioning a higher power can help release you from these life fittering attachments faith gives you back the long game again it feels like she's dealing with the past and she's trying to move through it she's trying to get through it but um it keeps resurfacing there's something that just keeps resurfacing and then we have kindred it's true that you can tell a lot by the company you keep this card asks who are you attracting soul friends who love you unconditionally just the way you are or ass souls who when you are trying to assemble your dreams hide the hex key lord let me me tell you that 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 hits okay ass souls get it or is the connection unbalanced flowing in only one direction and why is this okay kindred also says try to be grateful for that friend who withered on the vine and ultimately 
They're making the space for someone more like-minded to appear. Mm. So be grateful for the friends that you lost during your trials and tribulations because them getting out of the way makes room for someone who is really supposed to hold that space. As you evolve, the shinier you become, you become a mirror. Huh. Huh. within which others will see themselves. Some can't help but like what they see. There are they; These are the keepers. Others will resent you for inadvertently reflecting back their own shortcomings and flaws. Hence why I elongated the word mirror. Anyway, if, you, if they aren't as committed to the same path of evolution, this glimpse will be highly inconvenient. The beloved dead of kindred hopes that they're just slightly out of step and you'll inspire them to catch up regardless they still bring an invaluable lesson your vibes attract your tribe and so it's almost like forgive yourself for attracting that tribe um and and have faith that you're going to attract a new tribe that's going to love you for who you are um i just feel like there's so much more that you can say about that but you know what i say to the ancestors <laughs> i say to the universe sometimes you just gotta you know what i'm saying let the words speak for themselves, you know, intuitively and divinely, you understood the message for yourself and you can apply that to yourself because I swear sometimes um, I'm doing readings and I'm like, mm, that message was loud and clear, baby. Got it. All right, moving forward. Let's get this tarot deck. One of my faves. All right, so Sawiti, current energy, Ashe, 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 oh. Thank you. Losing momentum, chaos, and waiting is on the top of the deck. Letting me know that this is how she feels with the Eight of Wands in the area of business, but also in the area of pleasure. Subconsciously, she is also acknowledging like, okay, I need to start manifesting. Manifesting is coming up very strong. So this is just a resonating theme in this reading. With the Seven of Cups, she's thinking about her options, the lots of possibilities, multiple choices, pick one, choose one, imagination, and wishful thinking. Even though she's feeling like this, subconsciously, she's like, come on, girl, let's pull it together. Let's manifest. Let's try this again, okay? in the middle of the deck she is very nostalgic at this moment thinking of the past and reuniting with some very strong uh, people to create a more um loving foundation a more loving tribe like that kindred spirit card said a more loving group of friends okay um but this is also about her healing a inner childhood wound like going back and really nurturing that part of her life that she needed whether that was an absent parent or whatever like just really nurturing the inner child so that she can move forward in life forgive like it said forgive and again it comes up again like spirit is like yeah forgive let that shit go blah 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 all right so what is her biggest obstacle i read biggest obstacle in reverse thank you spirit there's nowhere to go is an obstacle for her feeling like that delays having a lot of delays and Returning home is an obstacle with the Six of Swords in reverse. Remember, I read biggest obstacle in reverse. Also, a big obstacle is the Eight of Cups. Low self-esteem okay. is an obstacle. Thank you, Spirit. Stagnation is an obstacle. Um, um, faking happiness is an obstacle. In the middle of the deck, a lack of growth is an obstacle. Impatience is an obstacle. And laziness is an obstacle with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. What's next for Sweetie? Thank you, Spirit. Conflict resolution and harmony and success. And I just keep saying it. Like, she feels like she has more wiggle, wiggle room to kind of figure things out because there's a distraction. You know how this person, like, every day working to put this lady's energy in a sunken place is no longer. Like, it's just, it's, it's. It's tilted. It's moved. Um, but Spirit is saying subconsciously, she's still gambling with uh, generosity and let it go. She's still having issues um, with certain things, but she's finding that it's easier to release a lot of things like, I got it. I lost it. I came back. I'm, You know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to be like that in that mindset around finances and around certain things. Um, being a nonconformist. You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm With the four of pentacles. Spirit said, pull it again, baby. There's also an energy of being reckless and arrogant and violent with the knight of wands in the area of business and the area of passion. The way that this is coming through, though, is that she's not going to be a pushover anymore. She's going to be putting her foot down like, hell no, nah, I'm not doing that. Nope, nope, nope. The old me would have said, yeah, the old me would have cowered out. But the new me is kind of aggressive. Kind of like, what you want to do? What you want to do? You know what I'm saying? Been through it. Done through it. Got through it. You know what I'm saying? Grew through it. What's up? Like, I'm not a pushover anymore. I'm not going to let you do me like that no more. I'm going to be very much more assertive and, and just like standing up for myself. 
in the area of passion, again, in the area of business. Spirit said, moving forward with the Ten of Wands, she's going to continue to face some major challenges in the middle of the deck. What we're not seeing, um, there's a lot of responsibilities. She feels very stressed and exhausted and overextended. And again, this feels like, uh, right, okay. So in the area of business, but also in the area of pleasure, it feels like she carries a lot of people on her shoulders. And so she has she has to make moves to make sure that other people eat. Like, you ever heard them say that? And they be like, I'm responsible for how other people feed their families. Like, that's the kind of weight that it feels like she has on her shoulders. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does